Alright guys, just wanted to give you a quick Mad Beast update about the controller. Here's the heatsink I had on it. There's the reverse circuit heatsink. Um, it's not dead, the controller is not dead, but apparently I didn't paint it thick enough and some shit got wet. So it started having issues, so I took it apart completely. As you can see, I even separated the bottom and top board. That took me like an hour because I had to empty all the solder holes that connect the board together so I could pull them apart. <laughs> now I can heat sink these four, which are blocked by the bottom chip, and I will completely plaster the inside of this under here with silicone because I'm going to do it with silicone this time do all that with silicone, make it nice and thick, slap the top back on or the bottom I should say just slap that back on there and then silicone that piece then I have to silicone this side as you can see there's the, the power rails there's your main forwards power rails. This one off to the side, I'm pretty sure that's reverse. And uh, yeah, so I just had the big heat sink glued to those three power rails, which was working fine. But like I said, there was some water that got in somewhere, so I had to stop using it before it cooked itself. And uh, yeah, like it would run fine for a second, and then you hold the throttle, like quarter, half throttle, and it would just start cogging and doing all this kind of weird stuff, so it would work fine for a few minutes, and then it would start going crazy, so I, I knew there was corrosion or something in here. But anyway, I'll get her cleaned up, guys, and then I'll let you know what it looks like when it's done.